Yo dudes, what's up? Here I am in the man cave and today I'm going to talk to you about uh, creativity and making connections which sounds a bit poncy but it's not really and also the subtitle of this might be how my search for four LEDs led me to decide to make something astoundingly wonderful and difficult then again it might not now I've always been a very creative person uh, it's just natural instinctive for me um, but when I went to art college and design college uh, people on my courses um, some of them weren't actually naturally creative and you know I sometimes wondered why they were studying to go into creative industries however um, we did have lectures on how to be creative and you know you you might think you can't teach this but you can and what, one one of the things that happens is or that, that can spark new ideas is to take one idea and a completely different thing and wonder think about what happens if you stick them together what comes out and you know that's generally called an idea it might not be a good one but it's an idea nevertheless the reason i'm in the in the man cave is and talking about this is I'm making a clock this will be my clock face recessed with the hands whizzing around down there and ideally what I would have wanted was a smooth flat recess which would be dead easy to achieve if I had a thing called a router uh, not the router that sends Wi-Fi whizzing all over your house the older kind it's it's a motor it's a spindle it's something to hold a tool and it's the tool which does the cutting and it can cut grooves it can carve letters it can do all kinds of wonderful and magical things in the right hands possibly not these <laughs> anyway it doesn't matter because i haven't got one but that you know i've got this word router fixed in my head and i'm thinking i want one so what I thought I might do was uh, just get some LEDs and embed them in the wood. So I went on the web and searched for LEDs and came up with, you know, LEDs <laughs> from electronic component suppliers who assume that you actually know what they're talking about, but I don't. Um, so I had to do quite a bit of digging to figure out what's going on. And in the course of that, I came across a guy, well, several guys who made clocks using LEDs, electronic clocks, not using clockwork hands, but using LEDs to indicate the time in various ways. And one guy made a wonderful thing. It was really neat. Um, so he had like 60 LEDs around the edge as the seconds sweeping round and you know similar for the minutes and the hours it was basically a sandwich um, a ring of MDF or plywood on the top and on the bottom and in the middle a notched ring with like 60 notches in it all identically cut uh, to, pl to position the LEDs for the second hands and he says yeah and I just did that on the CNC router and I thought, mm, yeah, sure, mate, you've got a CNC router. And I thought, actually, you might have, because, you know, the way prices of things come down and get to a level of ridiculousness. And then I thought, and below that, there's homemade. Um, and, you know, if, if that guy can work out how to make a clock like that, I'm sure he can work out how to make a CNC router. So then I went bouncing off in another direction. By the way, if you don't know what CNC is, it's computer numeric control. It's actually not a new thing. I worked in, a, in a, an aircraft factory for a time, about 40 years ago. And, um, you know, I've, I was just a, a minion who bent cleats to specific angles, which was pretty tedious. But um, I used to wander around the factory in my breaks. And I wandered into this shop one time and they had this huge machine that was carving or milling chunks out of massive slabs of metal and ending up with a skin of metal with stiffening ribs carved 
out of the same piece of metal so there were no joints um, and that was a CNC milling machine which obviously would have cost millions and millions of pounds at that time. So anyway that's basically what CNC is. It's uh, a programmatic method of controlling the movement of a router or you know a milling engraving thing or a lathe or anything else you can think of and it's wonderful marvelous fantastic and I'm thinking I wouldn't mind having one of those <laughs> so then I went looking for homemade CNC projects and found a lot there's a lot of these things about um, and actually it would be quite a challenge to make one of these things because you've got a whole bunch of different technologies you've got mechanical to control the motion of the gantry up and down side to side back to back to front in three dimensions you've got the electronics to control it you've got the uh, 3d software to actually create basically a model of what you want the machine to make um, and all of that has to be joined together made to work together so i'm comfortable with making things out of wood i'm not comfortable with making things out of metal at all electronics is a closed and buried book to me i i mean you know i, I know some very very basic stuff and it really is very basic so that that would be a learning curve to get to grips with that but there are, but there are things available you know basically what you want is a little computer to tell various motors where to go little computers or microcontrollers are actually quite common and quite cheap there's there's a thing called the arduino project which is open source it's as cheap as it can be like a couple of quid for a micro microcontroller and then there's open source 3d software like um, blender or sketchup both of which i've used and i'm fairly comfortable with uh, and between that there's a bit more software that actually takes the the model turns it into the numbers that are needed for the CNC machine and off you go. So <laughs> I, I might have dug myself into a, a hole that I could never get out of. It will certainly take a lot of time and quite a bit of money. Well, maybe I reckon possibly 200 quid. So anyway, I was kind of more or less veering towards committing myself to doing it. And then I thought, hmm, might be useful if you had a 3D printer because then you can actually print some of the parts and I thought how would you make a 3D printer and then I thought you would make it exactly the same way as a CNC machine except instead of controlling a router it's controlling the the hot end that melts the filament to build up the model so the same technology works for a CNC router and for a 3D printer and I thought hmm do you know what else it could do? It could draw pictures, it could draw plans. It's a flatbed plotter if you replace the other things with pens. I mean, wow, three machines in one, I'm definitely up for that. So um, yeah, I'll be in the man cave if you want me, missus. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there'll be a whole bunch of videos made about it. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Anyway, got to go now. Got to get cracking on designing this thing. Later.